Welcome back. Are you a fan of all the Pixar movies? You know, Wall-E, Toy Story, Up, Inside Out, Incredibles. There are so many. Have you ever wondered how those movies are made? I have. I've always thought it was basically magic. So right now at OMSI, you can get a hands-on look at how the Pixar animators bring these movies to life with the new Science Behind Pixar exhibition. So I got to go check it out and try to wrap my head around how they do it. And it is pretty magical. So obviously, Pixar does digital animation, and so a lot of the things you can do here at the Science Behind Pixar exhibition is get your hands on digitally, but they have to start out doing it how it works physically. Yeah, definitely. So you're looking at a recreation of a digital set from A Bug's Life, and you can actually use these cameras to physically explore that set and we're getting a bug's perspective, right? And Pixar actually had to do a lot of physical research and look at the real world from a bug's perspective in order to be able to digitally recreate that in a believable way. That's so crazy. So you can just move all these little cameras around. So they look around, okay, switch the camera over there. And then, I mean, probably a lot of kids come here to check out this exhibit at OMSI, but adults, hypothetically, will fit in here too. I can go and, and get the bug's perspective myself. Yes, you can. Go for it, Go do it. And we'll get the camera set so that we can see you. Crawling into the cave, oh wow! I do totally feel like a bug in here. Wow, these are very tall pieces of grass. I can see how it would feel nice to live in this little bug world. Maybe I belong in here, I am kind of, kind of short. I could live like a bug down in this little world. Do I look like a bug yet? <laughs> you do, do you feel like you can digitally recreate this set? I think so, <laughs> I could totally make this into a movie. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously there are so many different steps and aspects of the animation process that Pixar does and so many different movies that they've made up, Toy Story, of course we cannot forget one of my personal favorites, Finding Nemo. So we have found Dory, and this is where we get to learn about how the lighting works. So sometimes there are more than 200 lights in a single frame of a Pixar film, and this is a station where you can try your hand as a lighting technical artist. And so right now we're looking at Dory, and we can change all aspects of the light on her. So you see there's a moving light behind her. We can oh. add or take away moving lights, which changes kind of the feel of the water, mm -hmm. right? We can also change the color. So right now Dory's a little green, but we could change Dory to feeling red, which is maybe a little scary. Maybe there's a shark around the corner. Oh, not the shark. I know. But then we could also change it to really bright and happy and yellow, which maybe there's a lot of sunshine. Maybe she's near the surface, not a lot of sharks in sight. So you can really change the feel of a frame. I like the sunshine. We're leaving Dory in a very happy place, but you can come and put her in all kinds of different scenarios. You can just keep swimming with Dory here at OMSI's The Science Behind Pixar exhibition. It is here all the way through Labor Day, so all kinds of time to come hang out, make new friends. Buzz Lightyear's here, Soli is here, and of course Dory. <laughs>